Today on Smacky's Garage, we're going to be working on the F-150. We're going to be continuing our four scan playlist where we're going to be fixing the speedometer on the truck. So I've had an issue where I put larger truck tires on it and with these larger tires, you run into the issue that, you know, it's calibrated for your previous tires. Now with these 33 inch tires, my speedometer is off. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to walk through step by step how to use four scan to fix this to get an accurate mile per hour reading on your F-150. All right, so this is the truck. It's a 2018 F-150, and this will work on most F-150s as long as you can plug in Foreskin and you can make adjustments to the computer. Now, using Foreskin is really simple when we're looking at using it to make adjustments to the computer. Now, there's a few things that we're gonna need to be able to make these changes. One, we're gonna need Foreskin with the extended license. So the extended license is free. So right now you can download Foreskin for free and then you can go to the website. You can get a two month trial for the extended license. I've been able to keep repeating and reusing that extended license over and over again. And I've been using it for more than a year now just by renewing that extended license. So for me, that works. Go ahead and download Forescan to your PC. Now, the second thing you're gonna need is an OBD link. This OBD link is gonna plug directly into your computer. And then the other end is gonna plug into your OBD port of your truck. It's important to get a good one, one that you know is gonna work. So I'm gonna link one in the description below. This is the one that I've been using on all of my vehicles and I've never had an issue with it. So with this all set up, the right drivers installed, let's go ahead, let's open up Forescan and look at how we're gonna be making these changes. Now to make the adjustments in Forescan, you need to know the millimeter circumference of your truck tire. Now the easiest way to do that, I'd say is to use a calculator, which I've linked in the description below, where you enter in your measurements for your tire. Now we're gonna go ahead and we'll do this on my tire to look at what it actually means and what it actually comes out to. Now the circumference is gonna be the distance around the outside of the tire in millimeters. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna look at the size of the tires on the tire itself. It's gonna be something like, for my truck, it's 275R20. 275 R20. 275 is the width, 60 is the sidewall, and then the 20 is the, the rim size. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enter it in here. So the website I'm using is tiresize.com slash calculator. And this is where I go to get the information. So if I do 275, 60, R20, and calculate it, you can see, if I go to results in millimeters, their circumference is 2,631. Now that's an important number. That's what we're gonna be inputting into the computer for Foreskin to let the truck know what the overall circumference of the tire is. Now, why circumference? If you think about how the measurement system works on the tires, you know, you're trying to figure out what's the distance of one rotation. If you understand the distance of one rotation, if that one rotation gets bigger, their circumference gets larger. If that one rotation, if you have, if you have smaller tires, that circumference gets smaller, so that one rotation is less distance traveled. So it's using that to really compensate to understand what's the actual distance that you're traveling per each tire rotation to calculate the miles per hour off of it. So now that we know this information, we should be good to go ahead and jump into Forescan and make the changes that we want. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna plug the cable in to the computer, the truck, turn the key on and then open up Forescan. Now you don't need to start the car to do this. Okay, now you can see Foreskin is opened up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna connect to the vehicle. Finds my truck, gonna hit connect. There we go, you can see that we are now connected. Now that we're in here, we're gonna go to the configuration and programming. And then we're gonna to go to the body control module. So after we do that, we hit run. And you can search on the filter if you want, you can do tire, and it'll pop up. You can see the previous tire circumference is 2462. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change it to the number that we previously calculated on that tire size website. Now the number that we previously calculated was 2631. 
So you can double click on this and you'll see a pop-up that'll pop up. It might not pop up on the screen here depending on how the recording goes, but you see that pop-up come up, it'll say value, and then you type in 2631 and then hit the check mark. You can see on the screen it did change up down there to tire circumference 2631. After that is done, we're gonna go ahead and hit right down here to save to the ECU. It'll say, here's what's changing, here's the old value, here's the new value. Then I'm gonna hit check, that is correct. Then everything will reset. And then I'll say, please cycle the ignition off then back on. Now let's go ahead, let's take it for a ride and let's check. What we'll do is we'll pull up a GPS app on our phone and then we'll take a look how does that compare to the actual speed of the speedometer? All right, so now here we are in the morning. Let's go ahead, let's take the truck up to speed. Let's get up to highway speeds. Take a look at the GPS app that I've downloaded onto my phone. And then we're gonna take a look at the speedometer on the truck. Now, if I remember correctly, the speedometer was about five miles per hour off from a GPS app previously. So we're gonna to hope to improve on that. So the first test I'm running is at around 28, 29, 30 miles per hour. And what I'm noticing is the speedometer is actually pretty accurate here. When I jump up to 34, 35 miles per hour, it's still in the relative range that I expect. Maybe it's a mile or two off, but you know, overall it's significantly better than the five or six it was off when I originally got these tires. Now, when you look at it at highway speeds, there's definitely a bigger of a difference. So I'm seeing about two, maybe two and a half, maybe even three miles per hour off, but it's still significantly better than it was before. All right, so the four scan changes made a big difference in where I was. So I used to be five miles per hour, so off at 30 miles per hour, and now it's only about a mile per hour off. So it made a big difference. Now, one thing you can do to get a little bit closer is you can fine tune that tire circumference and change it to be a little bit more higher or lower, depending on how you want your speed to be. So it takes a little bit of tuning, a little bit of fiddling with, but, but by using the tire size calculator, you can pretty much get it very close. There's always gonna be some difference in tire height, depending on how much air you have in it and what pressure you're running. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for tuning into Smacky's Garage. I'll see you next time.